Boo. What's up, you guys? Welcome to Halloween 2020. I hope you guys are excited because I have got some good stuff up my sleeve this year. So starting off with the Mad Hatter, I go in with a pore filling primer and lay down a layer of Mayron Clown White to lighten up my skin because I definitely had more of a tan when I filmed this. Now before I get much further into the video, I do want to mention that I was heavily inspired by a photograph I found on Pinterest for this look. And after filming, I did a little bit of research and found out the artist and her name is Victoria Lynn. She filmed her version of the Mad Hatter last year and I will be linking her video down below. So definitely go check it out because she is insanely talented. After I laid down that layer of Mayron Clown White, I also did a layer of really light foundation to even everything out. And then I went back in with that Mayron Clown White to use as my concealer and to also highlight my forehead and my chin. Next, we have to lock this base in place, and I'm using the Mayron Ultra White Setting Powder to do so. And you guys, as you can see here, this setting powder is no joke. Not only is it perfect for this look because it really brightens up my base, but your makeup is not going to move. Trust me. If you do not have this in your kit for Halloween, you need to get it. And of course, everything you do to your face, you must also do to any other exposed skin. So I am also doing it to my neck and my decollete. I'm using the Glam Light Cake Palette and I'm taking this pink shade and I'm gonna use this as my bronzer. So I'm going to put this all over my cheeks and my forehead and I'm going to really drag this down to my mouth as you can see right here. Do not worry, this look is going to look so crazy until you're completely finished. So don't let that deter you, keep pushing. And then you're gonna wanna make sure you also contour your jaw here because we want everything to be nice and seamless. And so go ahead and cut that jaw too, girl. I'm going in with my Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm using the orange shade to draw on some brows. I did glue my brows down for this look. You do not have to do that if you do not want to, but I wanted to give myself a new brow shape and so I pretty much just did some sort of like swoopy shape. They're pretty thick. You can do any shape that makes you feel comfortable, but this is just kinda the vibe for this day, so this is what I did. And then I set my brows with an orange eyeshadow. If you use a cream paint, you must set it. That way it doesn't transfer or move around. So make sure you always set a cream with a powder. And then going back into that cake palette, I'm taking the darker reddish pink shade and I am just going to deepen up my contour area. I felt like my face looked a little bit flat, so I decided to do that. Moving on to the eyes, I'm taking the light blue shade in the palette and I'm gonna start putting this on one of my eyes. I am doing the same type of swoopy shape that I did with my eyebrow and yes, that is the technical term for this video, swoopy. And I also use it as my nose contour so I drag it down the side of my nose, up toward my temple, as well as along my entire lower lash line. To deepen it up, I take the deep blue shade in the palette and just kind of do it on the outer corner and in the lower portion of the crease. Do as much or as little of this as you want to, you guys. This is a really fun look to kind of make it uniquely your own. I do want to mention as a tip here, when you are doing eyeshadow with your brows laid down, make sure that you pat or swipe up on top of your glued down brow hairs so they don't accidentally come up. And then last but not least for this eye, I do pack on a green shimmer shade all over the lid. I then take the deepest purple shade in the palette and do the exact same thing on the other eye. So again, that same swoopy shape up towards my temple as well as the other half of my nose contour. And then for an added pop, I take this orange eyeshadow. It's the same one that I set my eyebrows down with, and I just use this on the inner portion of my lower lash line. Then taking this light lilac shimmer shade, I put this all over my lid. 
And then I decided to put this gold foiled shadow in the center of both of my eyelids as I felt they were lacking something, especially the purple eye. I just felt like it was a little too monochromatic. And so I felt this really helped amp it up a bit. We're then going to line our waterline so the blue eye gets an electric green liner and the purple eye gets a deep purple liner. I wish I would have had an orange because that would have been sickening. I then pop on some really funky lashes and now it's time to get highlighting. So I'm taking the Nicole Guerrero highlighter kit and I'm using the white shade to start packing onto my cheekbones. And then against all of my oily girl tactics, I also pack this all over the rest of my face. So my chin, my cupid's bow, my forehead, and I take it on a smaller detail brush and do it underneath my new brow bone as well as my inner corner to really brighten up my eyes as these eyelashes can kind of weigh your eyes down. And then again, you have to do it to your neck and your chest as well. So I highlighted that whole area, girl, I was a disco ball. And then if that wasn't enough, I decided to take the Makeup Forever Starlit Powder in number 13 and beam it up even more. Going back to the eyes, I decided to take my Makeup Forever Flash Palette and use the white shade in it just to put some little dots all around my eyes. I thought it just added a really fun touch. And then your girl had to pop on some rhinestones. My old dancer heart was just screaming with joy here. And then I decided to use the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in Undefeated, as well as the Jeffree Star Liquid Lip in Candy Ass to create this really fun custom lip shade. And there you have it, you guys. We are mad as a hatter with this completed look. I really hope that you enjoyed it. I had so much fun doing this. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments section below. And definitely give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Halloween looks because I've got a lot coming. And I will see you in my next one. Happy Halloween!